I grew up in Los Angeles, here in my ancestral homelands. I always knew that I had this connection, but have not always felt welcome in ways. And part of that is because we don't have federal recognition and we only have state recognition. We don't have sovereign territory allocated by the government, but it's very hard to feel removed from your own land in a way that you can't have places for ceremony or gatherings or even reburying our ancestors who often get displaced because of development. I was always looking for places to explore with my camera to kind of create that permanent record in places that I knew I couldn't continue to be in. So I've always known that abalone is an important material for us. It's also just incredibly beautiful. But being out on the Channel Islands is the first time I actually saw it alive, like the actual being attached to rocks. And it was really overwhelming. And so I started seeing them and photographing them and I kind of couldn't stop myself from taking a lot of pictures <laughs> of the abalone. And then I started to think about how important it is to have a more reciprocal relationship with the beings that surround us and the ecology around us. And so instead of seeing it as a resource or something to be exploited, it can be something that's, you know, important and a messenger and a being. There are foxes on all the islands. The one image uh, that, I, you know, I have of them, I was walking up over a bluff and I saw, a, you know, a little body on the ground and I thought, oh no, I, I thought it was dead. And so, but I still walked up to it and I, you know, I was about to take a picture and it like kind of cocked his head up and looked at me and was like, what are you doing here? I'm just taking a nap. And I kind of paused and I was like, oh, and then another one kind of came out from the bush and they were just like lounging up on a bluff by the sun. And yeah, it was one of those really special experiences. I hope that people looking at my work can one, see that there is active current thriving Tongva presence in Los Angeles, and also that there's understandings and knowledge that is necessary for a future where we can thrive and be more reciprocal and have these relationships where we don't see land as a commodity or a possession that is for profit, that we understand that it's necessary for us all to have places to belong and to be home and to know that and have that and hold that and not be dissected from that. Mm -hmm.